Hey buddy, it's a Victor. It's time to run right here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Monday, Mosh Pit. Welcome out to the new week here. I know that yesterday was Sunday, but I mean, really, like, those weeks don't start till Monday, let's be honest. Because, you know, Sundays are extension of the weekend, which was last week. That's how I've always kind of looked at it anyway. But we're waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes as we make our way towards the new like streak goal. Of course, thank you all very much. For those of you who do go back and check out those older videos from last week and over the weekend and click the like button, leaving comments on the daily episode uh, questions as well. Here's your meme of the day. Artwork of the day. Really amazing artwork of the day. Sitting here by Chilodisiac. Title of the thread was Lo-Fi Rainbow Scratch Art. I don't know what lo-fi rainbow means, but I think that they were probably listening to that music. Either way, I do love the scratch art. This is the first time I've ever seen a scratch pad art uh, style of the Simvicta logo. And they said, much like the RNG of Isaac, I never know what to expect when I make art on these cheap rainbow scratch pads. The process releases almost as much dopamine as when I see Sissy. We wanted to make, or I wanted to make some sin fan art after all these years of watching. Thank you for teaching me so many of the ins and outs of this game. Thank you very much, Chilodisiac. Very awesome stuff. The scratch art is very interesting. If you don't know what a scratch art or scratch paper is, basically it's like reverse sandpaper and you kind of like just kind of carve out whatever uh, whatever you want out of there. It's really cool. Today's going to be Zulu, Charlie, Foxtrot, Quebec, Whiskey, Bravo, November, Echo. We've got the D, Twizzle, uh, Venus, along with terrible, terrible shot speed. Good Lord. Um, I am stoked, though, to have at least uh, another going of the D12 after it's not really been all that long. And also, of course, Venus, the most, if not one of, if not the most powerful charm effect in the game. We've already talked about this ad nauseum and uh we're gonna continue to talk about it as we end up taking soy milk here so soy milk mm, i don't know man soy milk with low damage and low shot speed is kind of a bummer i do want these d12 of course is going to re-roll <laughs> i don't know what just happened there did we, did we charm the barrel is that what is that what just happened here coach i think it is um but we're gonna get hit aren't we no we didn't Hey, there we go. Uh, yeah, so the D12, of course, is going to reroll all rocks and stuff. It's a fantastic item. I've talked about it so often that you're probably, like, tired and sick and tired of hearing me talk about it. But seriously, like, the D12 is a game changer. It's one of the best items that you can get in the game to start off with. And honestly, like, keep you going the entire way through. Um, soy milk, on the other hand, is up for debate as far as, like, you know, the best items in the game. Uh, obviously, there's been a, a soy milk renaissance uh, for us to to talk about for the last <laughs> really a couple years now. Um, I've been I've been on the soy milk train. Soy milk is super good, and I love the fact that you do have the uh, almost unlimited potential for tier effects applications and tier effect. Um, it, it just just tier effects in general. Like you get you can get so much out of just basic tier effects. And the more damage that you get, obviously, the more multiplicative the damage gets with the soy milk tears rate. Now, we do need to get ourselves some... We, we need to get some shot speed for sure. 0.79 is pretty awful, especially since, like, we're actually outrunning our tears right now. Um, but if we can get that combined with, like, some piercing shots, some some damage, we're going to be looking real good. Pull the D12 here and get some poop. Never know what the poop might give you. Could give you something or it could give you nothing. So we start off with Champion Bell, which is going to be a nice damage up for us. And uh, you're seeing here the Charmed effect. Actually, the Champion did a decent amount of damage there on uh, Baby Plum. Big chunk of damage out there, Baby Plum. Of course, we cannot fight Baby Plum without taking our obligatory damage against her. So that just happens. But we are going to get a heart anyway. Um from the other room here and we get cat of nine tails which is going to bring our damage over one and also give us a much needed shot speed upgrade so very good stuff very good stuff here very good stuff here brought to you by the d12 this would be an excellent room to actually d12 if we can if we can manage it i am going to go into the curse room here and unfortunately we're going to get nothing but we are going to get a full charge so that's nice golden keys kind of whatever Uh, there's one tinted rock here, which is good because we need a soul heart. There's also a, there's a, well, actually there's a double tinted rock here. Okay, so this is a double tinted rock next to a regular tinted rock. You literally never see that. 
So if we can get a second bomb somehow, that would be amazing. We're up to four cents. One more cent will get us a bomb. I don't know if there's one inside the store. I need to be very careful with those spikes, actually. Um, but the D12 is giving us... It's giving us some potential here to to really start falling out of control early on, as it, as it always does. There is a second bomb in here, but we need one more... One more cent. Literally just need one cent. Surely there's got to be one cent somewhere, here, right? Now, it is possible that we could bomb the... Uh... This is nerve-wracking right here. Okay. It's possible we could get... We could potentially get both of these. We could get the Fool's Gold and the... Um... And a double tinted rock. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So that's a big brain play right there. Okay, let's not walk into the spike rocks. Let's not walk into the spike strips. And we're gonna go back and with this one singular bomb, we're going to open up the double tinted rock and the regular tinted rock. This shows you the importance of leaving unicorn poop behind as well, because we could have gotten a full heal off of that, but instead. We're banking on this, getting us some HP here. And it gave us a... Yeah, it gave us tears up and also HP. So good, good, good. Very nice, very nice. And we're still leaving away with one in, with one bomb here so we can use that on the next floor if we do find ourselves a tinted rock with the D-Twizzle. And uh, man, what a, what a banger start we've got going on here. Happy Monday, everybody. Freaking love the D-12. goes on to our question of the episode from last week everyone we had a lot of people chiming in talking about what is the strongest c-section synergy uh, that this is from last monday's episode which was the newborn mutant ninja uh turtles episode or babies i should say had a lot of fun with that thumbnail as well of course and uh, overwhelmingly the most upvoted comment was was from ch czh uh, 2432, who said, Soy milk hands down, fill the screen with babies, and insanity ensues. Every other tier effect after soy milk just ups the entertainment value. Yeah, soy milk plus soy milk plus C-section is just is just the bee's knees. And I don't even know, like, like C-section almost turns into a tier effect at that point. You know what I mean? Like it's like soy milk just amplifies the pain when it comes to when it comes to tier effects, when it comes to overall synergies, like soy milk is just doing that. It's just it's so good. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, CZH2432. The second most upvoted comment was from Dennis, who said, probably Mom's Knife or Spirit Sword um, with some kind of multi-shot. Yeah, I mean, Mom's Knife is okay. I would honestly rather have the Spirit Sword than anything. This is going to be madness. I'm just going to do this. Maybe we can run them into the fires or something. See, we did get a... Uh, See, we did get a tinted rock over here next to our uh, barrel, but unfortunately, we did not get so hard out of there. Still kind of mad that that fire even hit us. One of the Claudies did run through the uh, through the fire, the red poop, so that's good. We also have a, a non-crawl space down here, so if we wanted to go to the next floor, we just could. Yeah, the D12 does some interesting things to room layouts, but... None more so than spawning a double tinted rock next to a regular tinted rock. That's pretty awesome. And look at this. We get ourselves the counterfeit penny as well. Honestly, give me the battery pack. I'm taking it. It's us a second full charge and a third full charge here that we can use in this room. There's still plenty of stuff to re-roll in here. And yes, you can run into multiple uh, tinted rocks if you wanted to. Actually, should have used one of those barrels to see if there was the, to see if the um, uh, secret room was below the boss trap room. If we got five bombs, so I mean I can take a look. Okay. Grab another full charge here. I'm not gonna re-roll this room again because there's not really a whole lot else to re-roll. But I mean, this is what the D12 does. It gives you opportunity where you normally wouldn't expect to have any. 
you know, now we're looking, it, it's, it becomes a, almost like a rock, almost like a, a rock seeking run at this point. Like we're looking for rooms that have lots and lots and lots of reroll targets. So we can maximize the potential of the D12 and get us maybe some extra HP, some extra, yo, let's stop getting lit up by a singular Claudie. Also, I don't know why Claudies just decide to fire faster when they're charmed. Apology not accepted game. Getting lots of money here from the counterfeit penny. Still looking for our boss room. We can go into the next floor with a full charge on the D12. Go back and go get that. Uh... You know what? I bet that I, I would almost bet dollars to donuts that the secret room is it's either right here or it's going to be below the curse room. Oh, okay. Mm, well, that's a lot of mushrooms, but I think, I think I'd still rather just use this for, um, Hey, there we go. I'd rather just use this for just another room, like a big room that just has a bunch of rocks in it. Not about, not like a, that, that's a middling amount of mushrooms there. We can, we can wait for a much more optimal room to use the D12 in. We're going to have gurglings and Nina should own these gurglings pretty hard. Yeah, there we go. I mean, yeah, this is, this is just, this, this is just everything, everything like seriously coming together here. Look at this. We're also going to get little horn, little horn soy milk is just so dang good. And we're also going to be able to get spirit of the night, which is going to give us spectral tears and flying. I mean, what more could you want from a start here? This is just beautiful. Last but not least, on the third most upvoted comment from last week's episode, the question of the episode, what is the strongest C-section synergy? Summers Pittman said lump of coal. And actually, I'm down with that. Lump of Coal is actually is seriously some incredible stuff that can happen with that. Ooh. Anima Sola. Now that is a tempting. I really wish we could get some soul hearts out of these. Anima Sola is a tempting, tempting uh, space bar item, but it ain't no D12 though. Is the thing like we like I love Anima Sola. Don't get me wrong, it is a fantastic item, but there's just there's a certain level of security built into the d12 you know and uh, being able to take rocks and turn literally nothing into valuable into valuable pieces of, of well contributing factors uh is, is there's just something about it that's just truly spectacular and that's what the d12 does i mean it just it, it allows you just to take any rock and turn it to possible hp like it's insane without without limitation mind you like i want to make sure that everyone's down with that like it's without limitation I'm gonna do this because you never know what kind of havoc the d12 is gonna wreak on the unsuspecting masses of enemies here Venus ends up eating one needle into the other and fully taking advantage of our spectral tears here with spirit of the night Actually, wasn't that many rocks in here. I'm kind of disappointed. We can bomb the keeper here. Grab this as well. Here, fun card. Definitely, we'll take that. You're seeing how almost automatic uh, Little Horn's application becomes, and that's just. Again, that's just the product of soy milk. Being able to apply those tear effects just constantly in a very, very reliable pattern is just incredible. And imagine going to Summer's uh, Summer's comment as well. Yo, come on. Going to Summer's comment as well. If we end up getting a lump of coal with soy milk, that's another one of my favorite synergies. And curse the blind. Okay, let's stop conga lining into shots. How about that? We don't have the movement speed to really be making like great moves here. 
as evidenced by that double hit there from Gate. Or Mega Maw, I mean. I mean, we're look at just look at the application of, of Little Horn. It's just it's just nonstop. Gonna let Little Horn do its thing. But yeah, we we need to stop taking this bad damage. We need movement speed. And if Small Rock drops, I am not taking it. Small Rock is pretty much almost on the ban list at this point. There are... There are plenty of times where Small Rock has been not worth it. And honestly, lately, like, it's been just absolute garbage. This is not a run where I'm going to take Small Rock. Unless we get the movement speed as we continue to take really bad damage from our poor mobility. It's running into... Pretty much every single shot possible, and I'm not happy about it. Okay, Larry, what was that? We hit it. We hit Larry with like three small or three little horn shots, and none of them registered. That was weird. Of course, it's Curse the Blind, so we have no real reason to go into the store, the item room. Movement speed, please. That would be very nice. Good old bandage. And we get twisted pair. And false PhD. Terrific. Terrific. And Curse of the XL. All right, so the game very clearly doesn't want us to have fun today. But you know what? We have soy milk. It's a Monday. We're going to have fun anyway, game. So regardless of how how bad you want us to, like, just be done and over with this run, I'm not. it's not going to happen. We have the D12. We've got soy milk. We're going to have fun. Curse of the Blind into a Curse of the XL is pretty standard for Isaac. Need to pretty much make sure that we don't take blind one heart devil deals anymore. Unless if like we're like just gunning for like a guppy item or something. Be a lot of money here. Cardio coin over there as well, but can't be bothered. Not going to use the Amnesia Pill right now, even though it would give us a Black Soul Heart. With this being an XL floor, we're still trying to make Boss Rush. We need to we need to try to find at least some kind of temporary... I have no idea what's going on over there. Um, some kind of teleportation card, whether it be the Fool card or Stars card or Hermit card, anything like that. Basically anything other than Emperor card is what we want. But this lack of movement speed... Still have not found any large rooms that have lots and lots and lots of rocks in it. But we did find another dead end. Which is just what we do all around here. We run into spike rocks, take bad damage, and find dead ends. That's what we do. Oh yeah, and also get Curse of the XLs. And another dead end. All right. How does he do it? How does he do it? 
is just shocking and surprising every single time. So Card Against Humanity at least has potential for us to get a lot of money and a lot of HP. But there's something even more hilarious that we could do with it. And I think that you all probably are already knowing what that's going to be. And if you don't, well, then uh, let me get, let me, let me just suffer through this, the rest of this level real quick, and then we'll have fun. Some of you probably already know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then, well, you will soon enough. Of course, we got to find, like, you know, the item rooms, the store, the boss room. You know, that stuff as we explore the second quarter of this map. We legitimately couldn't get away from that suction champion because our movement speed was not strong enough. Finding boss rush is priority number one right now. Oh. Compound fracture with with soy milk is just not smart. If we end up getting a good tier effect, then maybe, but like it's it's legit not a great option. Yeah, I'd much rather have the tears up than than that. Also get a range up there from uh from the black rune and I'll take it. Okay, so we should make boss rush here. Get booster pack. Booster pack is just, it's just so super duper awesome. Booster pack. All right. I don't know what happened up there. No devil deal. And, uh, yeah. Well, the bird's eye, I mean, Blood of the Martyr is great and all, but bird's eye is, bird's eye is just better for soy milk. Alrighty. So now what we get to do is we get to have some fun. So. Those of you who see what's coming, get ready for it, because it's about to get stinky. It's about to get stinky. We're gonna do this. A card against humanity. Walk out, walk in, and then hoocha hoocha hoocha. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's an eternal fly there, of course there is. Okay. So don't see any tenant. Don't see any tinted rocks here, game. In fact, I see no rocks. You see buttons. Okay. I was expecting a lot more, to be honest. Expecting a whole lot more. All right, not gonna lie, D12, you you kind of you kind of dropped the ball there on that one. That one was not a um, that was not a big time play. In fact, you cost us more HP than you actually got us. Bro, bro. We are spitting fire here. 
Now we got to go down to Lamb here, and I'm not exactly thrilled about it. Because uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, but we've kind of been taking a lot of damage. And we really, really need movement speed. Uh, let's see. We can get karma because we should have enough. We should have enough money to donate to make a to make it worthwhile. Assuming that there's not a greed fight, which we probably just manifested it into the game. And and given how uh, given how trolly the game has been with some of these uh, rolls here, I don't know if we're gonna actually see another shop here but that's what's that's what the silver dollar is going to be for okay so i'm gonna grab that And I think we just donate. Did nothing. All right. Go back and get the silver dollar. And the sun card we had in the boss room us getting booster pack yeah for an xl xl floor like we didn't really gain a whole lot in terms of uh rocks here i was really hoping that the card against humanity play was going to pay out a little bit better but it was neat to see i guess and we are going to play this uh fortune telling machine here at this point, I would give up the D12 for the fortune, for the crystal ball. But obviously, we're looking to try to get some soul hearts. Got 5.84 luck, so maybe that helps us out a little bit. Broken Onk is not going to help us out. Mom's Pearl. Mom's Pearl is starting to be a better option than, uh... Well, how much money we have left over here. With the D12, the silver dollar should still be the priority, although I do like the potential of Mom's Pearl here. Third soul heart. Death card, death card. I think the sun card is going to be worth a little bit more worthwhile here. Kids drawing. Here's the thing is that with the silver dollar, we don't, we don't have any money. So yeah, I don't even know if I want to reroll this room at this point again. Oh, there's the petrified poop. That would have been helpful. First card, lover's card. All oh, that shot coming a mile away, game. Okay, well now we're gonna get some more money here. Gold giving us a soul heart. Appreciate it. Okay, we're starting to feel a little bit better about our situation. D12 making up for the other snafu. I kept the death button around for. Okay, so we ended up still coming away with 37 cents. I mean, 38 cents. That's pretty good. It's saying that we had zero going into there and we weren't expecting anything. Ah. 
Okay. Not too, not too shabby. I think that I think we we came out a winner there. Uh, where's my where's my silver dollar at? It's in the is in the mob trap room. They're gonna stick with the D twelve. Yeah, thirty nine cents. You know we have those cardio coins that I was too lazy to pick up earlier as well. It's probably still better for us to take the silver dollar, even if like we had a little bit of a better play, maybe for survivability with mom's pearl. We're almost done with this really, really long floor, but we got to we got to get this money here. Isaac's got to make that paper. If I wanted to min max. I could have gone to get the uh, get the counterfeit penny. Doing one final sweep to make sure there's nothing in here that we needed. Um, so we'll buy the might as well buy the full charge, so we can start the next level off with a full charge on the D12. Forty-five cents, pretty good. Just felt it, felt it. It was gas, gas. Okay. And we're going to start off with a sun card and finally head on down after a very long XL floor. So the silver dollar, for those of you who don't know, it will give you a shop inside of the womb. And it's kind of something that we touched upon earlier, I think last episode, maybe the episode before, we we're talking about creating options for you. And that's exactly what the silver dollar does, giving you more avenues of winning. There's so much shaking going on right now. Happy that we got fate. We didn't need the flying, obviously, but getting another red heart HP upgrade is going to be nice. Hoping that we can get some kind of movement speed from this boss. Let's see if we can get something good here out of this shop. As there's no real good uh, D12 targets. Oh. Always got to be careful, red poops. Red poops are the are the bane of the D12's existence. If the D12 couldn't roll into red poops, it would be like the perfect item. So we destroy the keeper there. 100% anyway, because we failed the double deal on the XL floor. Cover cables and D12 ain't bad. It's not the greatest, but hey, look at that. We got another sun card. All right. We'll take that. Kind of a kind of a letdown so far, I've got to say, though, with the D12. We had a good start with that double tinted rock and regular tinted rock, but since then, the game has been like, no, you can't have any more stones. Not allowed to reroll anymore. Fire damage right there. I'm not crazy enough to to D12 this room without completing it first anyway. No tinted rocks, unfortunately. I'll be able to produce a crawl space or something. Okay, good. No, no projectiles will be will be leaving your mouth on the gurney. We get a speed upgrade. Let's go. And a Krampus fight. No lump of coal, unfortunately. And we're going to head on to do, 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 do zone. All right. Got our HP upgrade. We're going to use our sun card. We're going to go check out the shop. 
So at least soy milk is getting a chance to shine here with Little Horn and with Bird's Eye. Oh, another Rainbow Champion. The second one that we see in this run. It's kind of kind of strange. You don't see that all too all too often. Clubs. Let's hope that we can get ourselves a good, good, good shop here. Black Candle would be amazing, of course. I don't really need anything else other than that out of the store. I wouldn't mind Compass, of course, but you see there. If we just if we need to destroy something, even if it's a, like a statue or something, we just fire at it. And yeah, it's gonna be Mega. Well. I'm a mega. I mean, we could technically go fight Hush still, but I don't think that that would be a wise decision. Hush would probably be not that difficult, but is it worth a shop? Probably not without Keeper Sack. Oh, mama. Here we go. This is now this is a D12 room all the way here. All right, let's get this tinted rock first and foremost. Then we're going to screw. Uh. Yep. A second tinted rock. Okay. And it gave us a hangman card. Hanged man card. Go check out the curse room real quick here, along with the secret room. Be a greed fight. Day late and dollar short on that one, Greed. We've already been to the store. Don't worry, there was nothing in there. So our only real damage ups that we've been getting have been from False PhD, which people still say that I don't put enough respect on False PhD's name, and that might be true. Um, you know, if you have if you have a lot of luck, if you have a lot of range, then like it's it's whatever. It can give you. I mean, it can give you a, a re reasonable amount of damage source, especially if you end up having like placebo or something. Um, I'm gonna take flat file because we have absolutely no use for the silver dollar anymore. And wow, look at that! We got another tinted rock up here. That's three tinted rocks in this room. Alrighty. I, I told you I'm not doing it. I we just got ourselves We just got ourselves a movement speed up. I am not getting rid of that. And take one more stab here at a nice re-roll. And yeah. You get a tinted rock, and that's it. One singular tinted rock. Arm fly try to sneak up on me. Hey, there we go. Got a soul heart. Nice. There's just, there's just no projectiles coming out for mom. Here, font card and no devil D. All right. Honestly, this does very much feel like a situation where the game was like, no, you can't have any more tier effects. You got soy milk. That's all you're getting. Look at his head in here and lots of soul hearts. So I can hold on to the D twizzle just because. Now if you're wondering where the spikes doors went for the curse room, they went bye bye because we have a uh, flat file. Another benefit of having flat file you can get free curse rooms. Especially when you're in the later levels where everything costs one heart to get into into or out of. 
Flat file is pretty nice if you have nothing else. Something we have not been any in any amount of shortage of has been consumables. Really tempted to take goat hoof. Movement speed is still doo doo. And most likely we're not going to need those hearts inside of the uh, curse room. So goat hoof at least gives us another movement speed upgrade. Now we feel like we can do some maneuverability, some maneuvering. Another charge on the D12 in case we need to use it or if we find some good use for the uh, for the rolls here. another reroll potential in here uh, not, not really <laughs> no idea where the demons are so I'm just gonna hang back there we go well, I was hoping that we were gonna get more t tear effects on this run to have some soy milk fun but it doesn't look like the game is interested in doing that but you know what? Sometimes you just, sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. Sometimes the game wants to play ball and sometimes it doesn't. Stanley's going to snap back like he always does there. Again, you're seeing how debilitating it is having these tear effects apply with bird's eye and just absolutely stonewalling any enemy that has any projectiles. Projectile attacks are essentially non-existent right now. That's some good stuff right there. See if we th get anything fun in the dark chest, but I think uh, if not. Then I think we're just gonna let this run run its course. There, we get a tears up, and yeah, that's pretty not fantastic. I mean, we get a damage up, we get a tears up here from uh, Tin Robes as well as Ouija board, but fortunately, no uh, no other tear effects. So game game wants to go home and. You know what? That's fine, game. So we had a we had a fun. It was a fun potential run with soy milk here, but I think that it just kind of petered out towards the end. Obviously, the D12 is completely useless in the dark room. There's no rocks whatsoever. At least you're seeing some ultimate defense here with uh, <laughs> with bird's eye and soy milk, especially with our luck being 5.84. Forever alone. Venus is still like a, a card to play too, obviously. Being able to charm stuff and let let them stomp on each other is always a good thing. Dealing contact damage to one another. Daddy. Yeah, we've also got another dead end. Alright. Alright. Piercing shots. There's we have piercing and spectral tears now. Don't really matter too much, but it does kind of. It is kind of nice for Little Horn. And yeah, there's the south side of the map, everybody. In case you're playing along at home. Oh. Obviously, the piercing shots are pretty much inconsequential to this run because we already technically kind of have piercing shots with bird's eye. I'm hoping, I was hoping that Super Sloth was going to nuke each other with Ipecac, but what happened? So uh, that uh, leads us to today's question of the episode, everybody. Fun one, I would say. Since we had one last week talking about what do you think is the best synergy for C-section, how about what do you think the best synergy is for soy milk? What is your favorite, most powerful synergy to go along with soy milk? Post them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. 
especially considering the fact that we you know we, we have this sort of trend where we get to see the item in action on the episode and then you know get to put it into practice and who knows maybe manifest some one of your favorite uh, synergies in soy milk so question of the episode what is your favorite or most powerful in your opinion synergy with soy milk in the game remember the top three most upvoted comments will be read on next week's episode and this run, you know, it was it was all right. We, it could have been a lot more fun if the game had played along, but it is what it is. Sometimes the game wants to play. Sometimes it doesn't. You just know how it goes. But thank you for watching, everyone. Have a great start to your new week here in the Mosh Pit. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I hope you have a fantastic start to your day. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Alyssa, Fred, Bataloid and Heather Furlong. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find by going to the link down below or by heading on over to patreon.com slash Sinvicta.